pretty much everything here scratch built every single one um, this is uh, Vince's design I just flew it right now and I tried landing and I kind of messed up the back here um, we're gonna fix that though uh, Vince made this I don't know how many years ago and uh, how many how many years ago Vince how many Vince oh no oh, two years maybe oh, okay. most. Years. yeah it's all electric um, it's a hell of a nice flyer um, but I need a little bit more weight in the front though but we're gonna put a bigger battery and here we got the fantastic uh, we're gonna come up to the video with that one pretty soon this is what we're gonna make in today is the elliptic uh, here's the old one this is actually the original elliptic um, it's pretty much about 99.9% uh, .9 of the design uh, for if you buy the kit or the, uh, the plants from uh, either Model AirTech or Hobby Lobby. I think Hobby Lobby discontinued making theirs or uh, carrying their products. But if you want to get a kit, they'll make you one at the Model AirTech. Uh, check them out. And here's the original design. And it only had actually one, one rudder. I actually went ahead and did the V-tail thing back here. And if you look, they're almost identical. Almost. This originally had a 280 can motor with two cells, little 10 amp speed controller. This thing was a bullet. It flew really good. Now I upgraded with this one and remodified everything on this one, made the spar thicker. I mean, you name it, you look at it, you can pretty much see the difference between this and this. This is all flat bottom. Uh, it's got a longer nose. If you look at it from the side, the uh, whole bottom is uh, kind of like a diamond shape now, more streamlined. Got air scoops in the front. Uh, I'm running an old style uh, Jetty speed controller from Hobby Lobby. Good guys. Uh, I got a uh, Thunder Power Lithium uh, 1320. I might end up using a Rhino battery, the 13 or 50s or something like that. 30 seat discharge. It'll accommodate it. Same size. Uh, a little bit cheaper. You guys save some money on that. These are very good batteries though if you guys are uh, looking to save weight though. Uh, See, uh, let's see here. Oh, here's the hatch. Got a little magnetic hatch here. I made for this thing. It actually, there we go. Pops right out, real easy. Uh, battery, speed controller. It's really easy setup. Um, quite a difference between the original and this one. Uh, so today's the main. Now I have no idea what's going to happen, but uh, Charlie's going to be filming this. I mean, uh, Vince is going to help us film this, and Charlie's going to give us a hand on throwing this. So. You guys, if this crashes today, uh, we'll come out with another video, make another one, and we'll come back out and uh, try it again. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and see what happens. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get this up and going. We're going to take a walk outside and see if we can find a good place to toss this in case it goes straight down. Uh, like I said, I have no idea what it's going to do or what's going to happen. So you guys watch this and it will fly and hopefully it'll fly <laughs> it will fly at least halfway down the hill <laughs>